funny. This mic sounds really good. Yeah, it does. Okay. Very crisp. <laughs> Don't look at that either. You look funny. Matthew. Hello, Oilers. My name is Ben Richards, and I'm the president and founder of One Love Club. My name is Keelani Grant, and I'm the vice president of One Love. My name is Matthew Cortez, and I am the treasurer. My name is Jada Velasco, and I'm the secretary. So I started this program because I saw a One Love presentation that really like inspired me. And at the end, they offered me to become a representative for the club. And I jumped on that opportunity and created this amazing club with the, all of these amazing people. And Matthew is there with me, so he'll explain a little bit more. Yeah, so essentially we were at our model legislature and court program when they showed us this really inspiring video. And it essentially made me and Ben want to bring this to our school and really like help inform those around us in our own community about healthy relationships. Okay, One Love was founded by Sharon Love in 2010. And this was founded by her mother because her daughter, Yearly Love, was murdered by her boyfriend. Um, and the One Love name actually comes from uh, Yearly Love's number on the lacrosse team, one, and her last name was Love. And so that's where One Love got its name. And this is really done or founded by her mother to ward against the toxic and abusive behaviors by people in relationships, whether that be family, um, romantic relationships, any friendships, really, or relationships, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> we think it's important to bring awareness to our school of these toxic relationships, and relationships don't just have to mean, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. It could mean anything, friendship, relationship with your mother, father, grandparents, whoever. Um, relationships are all sorts of things and it could be toxic and we should bring that sort of awareness to our school how to like combat those behaviors yeah. mm -hmm. um and then like why do you guys think it's important to have in high school um i feel like especially in teens it's very like taboo to talk about relationships because you only have other like teens to talk about and we aren't the most experienced because a lot of people don't want to talk to their parents if something's bad bad is happening because then they feel like oh their parents might get involved or their parents are gonna like shame them for being in a relationship mm -hmm. so i feel like having other teens that will be able to like support them is really good for them and um i was inspired also by like the student resource center how they have that um club on fridays i forget exactly what it's called the peer health advocacy yeah so yeah. that that's kind of like the same thing how you have other students to help you because it might be more comfortable than going to an adult for help yeah Teens relate to teens, so I would yeah. much rather listen to Kilani tell me advice than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to piggyback off of what like Ben said, um, like oftentimes some teens don't really have the best experience with relationships as their parents could be divorced or could be constantly fighting, and that's not really something that should be a model for their relationships. And oftentimes it does become their model for future relationships. And that's why this program is so important. So that way we really offer what it should be. Yeah, and I think it's important to what you, like you said, model those behaviors and make it a normalcy to talk about unhealthy behaviors and not be embarrassed or ashamed or think nothing is wrong. Because I feel like part of the problem is that people think that those relationships should look like how they look, whether that be toxic, um, abusive, unhealthy. That's not okay. And that's what we're trying to spread awareness on. So, um, <laughs> to spread the awareness, we have meetings every other Tuesday in E2. Um, our next meeting is March 12th. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> March 12th is the next meeting. Um, and what our meetings look like is a lesson that we conduct, um, and it it could be about anything. Um, what was our last lesson about? Um, our last lesson was about... I think it was stalking. Stalking. And then before we had like he healthy and unhealthy texting habits. Like you don't need to text someone all 24 hours of the day. Um, healthy way... Um, like yeah. yeah. Healthy, healthy ways to text someone. Yeah. So we talk about any kind of relationship, any behavior that is unhealthy or anything that you want to fight against um and we get all our lessons and resources from the one love organization um they have a website 
right? Yeah, the yeah. website. The website. <laughs> <laughs> and we get all our resources from there. And then from that, we conduct those lessons. And you guys should really come by because sometimes we have food. So you should check the Instagram page and see the updates. Instagram, sorry. No, I was going to say, what's the Instagram? <laughs> Go. Go. All right, so Matthew, what's the Instagram? Uh, one love underscore MHS. And be at our next meeting. Please. Thank you. Thank you.